Welcome to the channel. My name is Dan Nguyen. Today I will be servicing uh, this pool heater. This is the Starrite uh, Maxi Therm 400. Um, it's been giving me problem. Every time I turn on the heater, it's actually um, come on. And then after a minute, it turns itself off. Um, and then you hear this clicking noise. And then it turns itself back on. And then off again. Uh, it, you know, it's just keep on doing that. And every time it does that, it's making this weird noise inside the manifold. Um, so I'm expecting uh, something inside the internal part inside the manifold uh, is broken or is not working correctly. Um, instead of uh, me taking the manifold out and find out what part is, is not working, I decided to buy a whole kit that kit include all the internal you just take all the old one and put in the new one uh, what I will be doing today also is uh, while I have the manifold out I will be uh, cleaning the heat exchange coil uh, removing the old insulation pad vacuum inside the, uh, uh, the combustion chamber uh, replacing a new insulation pad put the coil back uh, and installing the new uh, manifold um, and I also got a, a igniter I don't know why I, I think that this igniter is working fine but since uh, you know I'm taking it apart uh, might as well just replace the igniter um, so uh, let's get to it uh, so what we're going to do today is actually uh, um, removing this gas line uh, this right here has a union, so we can take it out. Uh, but uh, you know, when I when I purchased this house, um, I installed this gas line right here for my my barbecue, never thinking that you know I will ever have to take this uh, this out again. But uh, and now I do, and I have a problem because when I install when I install this line, I didn't put a union here, so now I can remove this, but this I can. I have to remove this whole line all the way uh, to the back port. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut this uh, here today, um, and then remove this. And when I install it back, I'm going to put a union back in here. So uh, let's see. Uh, Let's do this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this uh, this pipe right here. But uh, you know, make sure you uh, turn up all the gas uh, to the hit the system. I already uh, actually I had already turned it off in the front already. This is just a second uh, uh, second on and off. Uh, uh, knob right here so I'm safe uh, all the power is off uh, let's see if I can uh So to take the uh, the cover off, um, there is actually four screw, uh, two on top here and two on the bottom here from the back. I'm um, using a uh, 516 uh, driver here to uh, take these uh, these screw off. Uh, 
wants to take the screw off the, I mean these, uh, this top cover can easily just slide out like that. Besides the gas line, there are three other things that you have to take apart before you can completely take this unit out. The first one um, are the union that connect to the manifold. Loosen that. Um, as you can see, um, loosen that and water is draining out of the manifold. Um, the second item are the, uh, the, uh, the power line and the ground cable that is attached to the, the, the unit. The power line actually loop under the underneath the case and uh, there's a junction box so uh, you open the junction box and uh, remove the cable uh, the power cable there's also a um, a ground cable um, that Daisy changed through all the the power of the pump and, and the, uh, the heater as you can see I'm, I'm removing that ground cable now um, once you're done with that, there is one other cable if you have an easy touch panel that control all your equipment. If you have that, then there is a uh, communication cable. Um, here you see that uh, I am connecting that cable now in the back of that panel. That is a, is a small cable that connected to the easy touch. So uh, once you remove that, um, really the the whole unit is uh, completely loose and uh, you can actually take it away. So we got the, uh, the cover off. Um, so it's time to take this uh, manifold off. Um, you, uh, you need a half inch socket to do that. There's uh, there's 10 bolt uh, five on each side but before we do that we gotta remove all these cable uh, all these plug from all these plug right here um, yeah don't don't worry about uh, remember try and remember which is which because uh, really doesn't matter on these these is just sensor um, this is a, a quarter inch driver Uh, Losing these already earlier, uh, so basically, uh, So this is a uh, manifold. Not so bad. Uh, okay, so uh, next thing what we have to do is uh, we gotta take this whole top unit off.
in order for you to do that, you gotta un loosen this uh, this clamp right here. Uh, you know, I, I see the old model. Uh, they actually have uh, screw all around this cover, every probably uh, ten inches apart. And uh, uh, this particular one, I think, is the improved. Uh, uh, version of it, uh, it has this clam, and in, inside it has a gasket. Uh, that was something I did not expect. I thought mine would have the one with the screw on it, and basically, you remove the screw. There's a silicone uh, RTV uh, sealant uh, that they put on, and basically you need to clean it up, and uh, you know, put a new sealant on, and Put the cover back, put the screw on, but uh, this one has a clamp, has an O-ring, and I did not buy the O-ring. So I'm hoping the O-ring in here is still good so I can reuse it. Else, um, you know, I got to order it and wait a couple of days before uh, I get it and install it. So let's see uh, what's underneath this uh, cover. Uh, you need a half inch uh, wrench to uh, to take this out. So, uh, <coughs> uh, this is uh, a weird ankle right here. You can see uh, I got everything disconnected. Uh, all the cable, the ground cable that connected to the the bottom uh, part of this uh, this unit has been disconnected back here. So now I'm just gonna lift. Uh, I'm just gonna lift straight up. That's the main idea here. And look at this. This is exactly what I was hoping for. Um, this the this coil is in perfect condition. The the chamber is in perfect condition. Um, the uh, insulation pad uh, really is in perfect condition. I mean, since I got a new one, I'm gonna replace. Uh, I, I look like that that top one right there. Uh, it's kind of broken off a little bit, and uh, look like it's broken off in here. So I will be replacing that since I got it anyway. Um, the gasket is perfect condition. Oh my god! I thought this was in a bad shape, but. Uh, uh, 
you know, I'm going to vacuum all this. Uh, uh, so it looks like there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, you know, inside the, inside the, uh, the combustion chamber, it's very clean. There's nothing in it. Um, it's uh, perfect condition. However, between the, uh, The frame right here, the cover right here, and the the combustion chamber. There's a little space in between for uh, for insulation. There's a lot of snail and leaf, and I don't know, just a lot of stuff inside. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna remove this uh, uh, combustion chamber uh, out of here, and then vacuum it inside uh, since. Uh, I have this whole whole thing open. Okay, so uh, underneath the nut, underneath this. Uh, this is a uh, a 916 uh, socket. Uh, underneath that uh, 916 nut, there is a washer, a small washer, a lock washer, uh, uh, a regular washer, and a little rubber cushion. Uh, so that's. Uh, uh, That's how it goes. So that's what I was talking about. Uh, all the snail, see it? Snails crawling in there. Uh, I don't know what else is in here. Maybe rats been carrying all these uh, snail in there, or the, I don't. I don't think the snail crawl in here. I think the rat just bring it in here and eat it in here and make a nest in here a couple of years ago I had to uh, open this and uh, uh, you know rewire all these cable because uh, it was bitten by all these uh, mouse or rat that I have uh, living back here with me so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna vacuum these out Are the old gasket. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old gasket from this. The 
man manifold kit uh, come with all all new gasket. I'm so glad that the, the heat exchange coil is in perfect condition. Basically, I'm I'm giving a, a good clean uh, around the opening of these uh, coil right here. Uh, so when I put the gasket on, it's gonna have a tight seal because uh, really you don't wanna have any leaks. Around this area right here, uh, that's gonna be a problem. So uh, take it out, wipe it down, and <laughs> so here are the, all the new parts that I got from Amazon um, for this uh, this repair. Uh, this is the new uh, the new manifold. Uh, which uh, has all the all the sensor, um, you know, all the internal part. The only thing that this manifold kit, uh, which is this right here, uh, does not have is the thermal regulator, which I bought it separately uh, right there. And what it does is, uh, what it is is just a, a, a thermostat that that go into there and then basically you screw it in um, as you can see this is the uh, the one that we took out earlier uh, you know see the thermal uh, the thermal regulator right there um, 
and this is the the old one. The kit also comes with, um, you know, um, all the gasket. New bolt, uh, stainless steel bolt, and also the uh, the wiring hardness cover that goes right there. Uh, I also got the uh, the igniter. I think my igniter is fine, but I don't know. I I rather just uh, get a new one just in case. Uh, so this is the part for the igniter, and it come with the igniter and a and a gasket right there. Also, what I got is uh, I got the uh, the insulation kit uh, for the for the system. I was thinking that uh, you know taking the coil out and wash it uh, will, will damage it, so I went ahead and got a got a, uh, a new set. Basically, this is the, uh, <coughs> the new insulation pad that actually go inside um, the bottom and the and the top. So uh, <coughs> I will also re will be replacing those also. Now uh, we're going to be installing the, uh, the thermal regulator uh, inside the manu manifold. So basically, uh, sure there, that going there, and then basically that go down. There's a gasket right there uh, make sure that gasket is there uh, when you install this and then uh, make sure this thing is sit down there co correctly and basically just push it down turn it Spacer, gasket, lock gasket. Okay, so uh, right now I'm gonna be taking out the, uh, the the igniter. It's in a really tight spot in here, so I'm using a uh, seven sixteen uh, socket here. And there's and there's really there's two uh, two nut that's holding a bracket uh, that that's holding the uh, Ignited down. Yeah, that's one right there. 
So there's a bracket right there that actually holding down the uh, the igniter, and the igniter should be just oh fuck, I just broke it. Fuck yeah, I got a new one. There you go. So uh, be very careful. The igniter is really is very brittle. It's not it's not metal. It's uh, some kind of ceramic uh, material. Uh, so this is the uh, the new igniter. Uh, like I say, be very careful. Not to uh, hold on to that or hit it against something because it's very, very brittle. I just found that out earlier uh, by removing the old one. So basically, I need to put this little, uh, it's actually an insulator uh, heat resistant uh, gasket. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna put a little RTV around that opening. Just a little bit. Go ahead and uh, put the put the bracket back inside here.
So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, RTV right in the center of this. Uh, pad right here. This right in the center right there. And put this insulation pad. to there
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, install the uh, manifold now. We got the uh, the blower back on tightly. Uh, now we're gonna put this uh, this gasket in here. So what we're gonna do is, uh, as you can see, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, lubricate the tip of these uh, Okay, so uh, we can go ahead and uh, install this manifold now. Make sure it's going in there. Okay, go ahead and uh, install all the hardness again.
I took this elbow off right here that uh, connect to my uh, barbecue but uh, right now I'm just gonna temporarily uh, put this cap in right here and test the machine so uh, Okay, so we got this unit uh, installed back. Uh, I got the gas line installed. The uh, the electrical uh, is back. The communication uh, cable is installed back in this back panel. Um, the union is uh, put back together. Uh, so right now, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna fire up uh, and see uh, if this thing is working correctly. Um, you know, I check and double check and make sure everything is plugged in, everything is checked, uh, uh, you know, that the power, the main power in the, in the front panel is, is up and running. I turned this panel on already. Um, the gas is on. So uh, here we go. Uh, let's turn it, let's turn it on right now and see what's going on. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on my... Uh, my pool here and right now I have the easy touch uh, uh, system which uh, I program uh, when the pool is on the heater actually come on uh, not just the spa but also the the, the main pool um, you know it's in it's, it's April here in in California the water is still cold I mean the, the weather is great but the, the water is cold and uh, you know my kid like to swim in the pool and uh, you know, so I, I, I leave the heater on when the, the main pump is on during the day just to keep the water constant, constantly at a, at a, a certain temperature. So uh, here, we, here we go. We're going to fire it up here and see, uh, see if it's working, see if the temperature will rise. There you go. So uh, it's actually doing its uh, cell diagnostic. So it looks like um, you can hear it. the uh, the blower is actually turning, but I haven't heard. I haven't heard the. Uh, Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, you see that steam coming out? <laughs> That's a good sign right there. Basically, the uh, combustion chamber actually fire up. And I can feel the, the hot air coming out. Uh, this exhaust right here. And... Uh, 
and it looks like it's not turning itself off or making any noise in the manifold. So uh, one thing we can do is actually, uh, you know, go to the pool because it's going to take uh, quite a while before the temperature of the pool is going to rise because we're, we're heating up the whole pool. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk to the, the pool uh, right now and basically uh, I'm just going to stick my hand in where... Uh, the water is actually coming out. And if I can feel the warm water. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, the water is actually warm coming out of that. Uh, So I'm going to stick my hand. Uh, let me see. I put my camera there. My hand to one of the jet right here. It's coming out right here to see if I can feel the warm water. Oh, yeah. The water is hot. Looks like it's working. Let's go back to the... Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, it's earlier it was 66, now it's 67. Okay, so uh, the system is up and running right now. The heater is up and running right now, and uh, it looks like it's working perfectly. Uh, there's no leak, uh, no gas leak. Uh, Temperature is uh, coming up. Look like uh, we fixed the problem. <laughs>